Hey, how's it going guys? Zedi here. We finally got an announcement that a state of play will be happening tomorrow. Now, I'm sure a lot of people will be quite disappointed at the fact that it is not a showcase. Because mind you, myself included, kind of wanted more to see of a showcase. Obviously, it would have been a bigger show and perhaps maybe a lot more exciting things that PlayStation could have actually announced. But nevertheless, they decided to go with the, sh uh, with the state of play. And you know what? I actually was already anticipating this since I made my predictions video of the PlayStation Showcase by that time, and assuming of course if it was going to be, but now it's confirmed that's actually a state of play, you know, and then we got an opportunity of seeing Destiny 2, uh, the final shape trailer, that was odd, very odd, like, and then there was an announcement for Gran Turismo 7 update, it's just so many things lined up, oh man, looks like a lot of things are purposely not going to be mentioned within the showcase, this means that most likely, we may not get a showcase, but instead it would be something like a state of play. And looks of things, of course, that it is indeed a state of play. So PlayStation Blog mentions that State of Play returns this Thursday, basically tomorrow. State of Play is back. Tune in live for updates on PS5 and PS VR 2 titles, plus a look at the PlayStation Studios games arriving later this year. The 30 plus minute show features 14 titles and begins May 30th at these designated times and on Twitch and TikTok and YouTube of course. So there's nothing else to mention other than few speculations and rumors that what we could expect to see from the showcase. One of the big games that was heavily rumored it is the Astro game coming on PlayStation 5 specifically. And if that's the case, that is pretty awesome. Nevertheless, it's also kind of a curious thing to note that will the PS5 Pro be here as well? Or perhaps maybe they'll decide to kind of reveal it for themselves like a little bit later down in summer. Nevertheless, uh, seems like 14 titles. One of them is already Astro, you know, assuming of course if it's true. Of course, Concord, we cannot forget that. That's another one, so it's like means there's only left with other 13, well, 12 other games. Still curious to see what they got in store. And meaning that also the show is 30 plus minutes length. They, actually, they got a little bit of things to show. That's actually fantastic news, though. Nevertheless, I am a little bit disappointed that this is not a showcase, but I'm still happy the way we've getting, we are getting anything. State of plays have been, they were hit, miss or hit, they were genuinely were, and some of the times they were fantastic, some of the times they were just not very good, and you'd be questioning and saying, what was the point of the state of play? But now it seems like, like I said, it's a hit or a miss. Now, I believe, that's just my gut feeling, I believe that this state of play will be a hit, because there's going to be a lot of games to be looking forward to later down the line. Now, honestly, I don't think we should expect anything ginormous or groundbreaking in this year. It's basically been confirmed as well from PlayStation that not to expect a big tri uh, giant AAA titles coming out in 2024. Hell, in fact, in January, February, and March as well, included of 2025, it, it really is unfortunate. But it doesn't necessarily stop them from revealing and announcing a few of the big AAA games that will be coming out down the pipeline still i'm very much looking forward to it hopefully my predictions is still going to be relevant in terms to some extent do check it out it's literally my last video was my predictions video do check it out it would be awesome all right thank you again like and subscribe see you guys all and have a wonderful day